They're showing you an example. Look at this thing, what is... Oh, the whole thing is like squishy. Hey, what's going on guys? So today is a special episode because Tokyo Bookstore has actually given me permission to film inside their store. This store is half bookstore, half adult entertainment. Well, like adult toys and magazines and you know, that kind of stuff. So I kind of wanted to see what Japan has to offer when it comes to that type of item because obviously I'm from Canada. I've been to the stores in the US, Canada and other Western countries, but I've never been to one in Japan. So this will be a treat to see. Uh, however, most of this video for YouTube is going to be blurred out and there's going to be some bits I'm going to just totally cut out uh, because the video is going to be pretty long. But if you want to see the uncensored version I'm gonna leave a link in the description which is straight to my patreon you just have to sign up because I'm gonna try to post more videos like this where I can't really show on YouTube but I can on patreon and there's about 200 spots left as of current so if you guys want to go check that out let me know but otherwise let's go check out the store so right now they're open from 10 to 2 a.m. this is corona is usually open for 24 hours as you can see up there it says 24 hours. There's also a DVD return box here that you can actually go return the DVDs. So you don't have to go inside and return it. And then here it says they're starting to sell CBD items. We have women's outfits, you know, pretty common. But look at this one. I like anime outfits. That's how they entice people. They're only anime on the outside, but they're pretty real on the inside. That's what she said. What's the price of these? They're like 13, no, it's 40, 41. Look at this one. This one has the ass open. Then you got kind of like your Western ones, which are like the Western models. You can kind of see there. And then you got kind of cosplay ones, costume. Got your typical maid. A uh, school girl. This one's very typical costume. What are these? I have 42, $41. Oh, it's like a full costume. I think these are just underwears for women. Open crotch. Quick and easy access. Oh, what do we got? Stethoscopes. Steso, stethoscope? I don't even know. That's a tongue twister, I can't even say it. And there's like the game center we have. A bunch of these slot machines. But these aren't the ones where you win money. You basically get tokens and then you shove tokens in there and then, I don't know, you get to keep your tokens and come back and play. So you can't really, because gambling is illegal in Japan, so you can't really play for money. But some of these are pretty fun. Like I honestly don't know how to use some of these, but it is what it is. Very fun. They're like a dollar a play. So you put your dollar in here and then you press the button. You can push here or you can select how many you'd like to play. Uh, I press something and now it's playing the music. But you know, pretty simple. There's like the knob to play. All right, so let's go into the manga section. So you have your typical mangas. Um, some of these are mangas that I've never heard of, which maybe I should read, but I don't know what the story or basis of it is, so... Let me know if you guys read any of these manga. Beach Boy Riverside? I've heard of that one. I swear to God, mangas every single year. It seems like their tits just get bigger. Dr. Stone! So this is pretty famous in Japan. Um, I'm not sure if the Western country has it too much. Never heard of it in Western countries, but definitely check it out if you have a chance. More manga everywhere. Everyone's kind of overused favorite, Demon Slayer. Came out with season two. That's exciting. Let me know in the comments down below if uh, you are viewing it. That looks interesting. That looks like Harry Potter. One Piece fans. I'm not such a One Piece fan, but some people are. I just not, I don't know. I don't really get into the long series too much. Uh, unless it's a really good storyline, but some people say it's a never-ending story, so. And then you got Baruto, which is like the spin-off of Naruto. And then you have Jujutsu Kaisen. This is like one of my favorites of uh, the recent 
they have a, I believe they have a new movie coming out. And everyone's favorite in Japan right now is Tokyo Revengers. This is, uh, they made a, a real life film about this as well, and the anime obviously. Good read, you guys should read it, highly recommend it. All right, let's get into the good stuff that you guys want to see here. All magazines here, typical magazines. All right, now that we've gone through the curtain, this is where you see all the, the nudes there. There you go. Let's go into the uh, toy section. See what kind of Japanese toys they have here in an adult store. Ask a favor what a shout out to guys me. Ready, they ain't take a risk, but want the outcome. And ask it how go. I'm a sign in on the city lights. All the thought around me, then my look, I got it right. Well, look at this. Freaking weighs 10.8 kilos. 550 bucks. This is your series of lubricants. Look at that. Holy shit. You get like a whole fucking jug of that shit. Here's some of your bondage accessories. If you guys are into that. Got ropes, got chains, got whips, got uh, constraints. What the fuck? They got nipple pumps. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you use this? That's hilarious. What? They have a nipple clamp with a bucket. What do you do? What kind of freaky ass shit people are into? Uh, I don't know what exactly this is for, but I can tell you that a lot of beer drinkers might like this. All right, so this brand called Tenga. Tenga is one of the biggest brands in Japan for self-pleasure fulfillment. And they have these new ones here. What is this? It's like an electronic flashlight. That's huge. What in the world? So you get one of these, which are like the standard ones, and then you shove it in this machine, and I guess it massages it for you? Oh, this looks like an Apple product. Whoa, this thing's so heavy. Oh, that's ridiculously heavy. At least weighs like almost eight kilos. Five kilos at least. 180 bucks. How much is this one? Limited bucks, $240. Wow. Mm. Look at this thing, what is... Oh, The whole thing is like squishy. It has a cap though, it comes with a cap. Interesting. Got a plethora. They actually sell these in like Lawson's and stuff in Family Mart. Literally a convenience store sells these things, so... Those are the same things, just egg versions. Really small and incons incons inconspicuous, I can't even say the word. They got other versions up here. Flip orb. Oh, they got like little orbs inside. Hence the name. What are, what are we doing here? Is this for this? There's a camera in this vibrator. They're showing you an example. So you can connect you can connect this vibrator to your smartphone and then from your smartphone you can have a live video feed and then yeah you know how the rest works all right we have a, a shrine a cock shrine that is hilarious look people actually put some coins and stuff and whatever those things are but i don't know what do you guys think people wish for <laughs> i can't even say it without laughing lots of dildos near the cock shrine why not oh there's a double dong honestly i don't know what i'm wishing for do i have any change no i don't have any change on me this one's like a claw machine where you can get these and then basically each paper will either have like you win you lose and then a bunch of people obviously have done it and then you win a prize i don't know what the prize is though so that I don't know. Here's like a gacha machine. You pay 500 yen and you win something uh, in the store. Whatever they have the prize for. Oh, if you guys haven't seen this, this is on Netflix. Um, Naked Director. It's a true, based on a true story and it's actually pretty good. Educational as well. So, highly recommend to go watch it if you can. Let's check out the DVD section. 
Seems like they got some foreign stuff here too. There you go. They have Japanese subtitles in these. But they even blur out the foreign ones. That's interesting. But in Japan, they uh, do not like to show below the belt. All this doubt around me, damn it, look, I got it right Don't you try to hit me, now you live a petty life All those nights I lay to wake, I pray for better life Now I wake up with a baddie like I said I might so yeah, some of these are pretty interesting, I gotta say the least. Um, there is obviously a significant difference between Japanese and obviously Western porn, but uh, I didn't know people were still into DVDs as much. Uh, because in the Western country, you don't really see too much DVDs anymore. It's mostly just all online because it's free. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's interesting. They also have VR. So if you're into VR, you have an Oculus, then... Um, Go ahead. I think, I actually know, they're probably proprietary to their own system. And then you can buy any of these Outvision VR Scope DVDs. You can have a VR experience. Yeah. There's an example of how to rope a mannequin. So basically, in Japan, they usually, in the adult stores, they give you a sample of one of the DVDs in a certain section. So near the cast register here, they have these stuff. And these are actually, I don't know if they actually work, but basically they're pills, they're spray aromas, there is powder that you put into like a drink and then you drink it, and then it makes you super horny. That's exactly the simplest way I could put it. So that's what they have on all these cast registers. And there is more of these pills. Again, these are like the Tenga things, so you can see what they look like. So each one of these packs have one of those, and they're exactly like those ones back there, but in a flat envelope packet. So easier to carry, more discreet, and you can use it and chuck it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching and sticking around for the entire video. Again, like I said in the beginning, Patreon link is in the description if you want to see the uncensored version. And thank you very much for Tokyo Bookstore to host me, giving me permission to film inside the store because I don't think not every adult store in Japan will be comfortable with a foreigner or, well, I'm kind of Japanese, so I guess I kind of passed. But in a sense, you know, they don't really like people filming in there, especially when there's customers around. So I tried to obviously not show anyone in this video. But again, if you like this video, smash the like button. I don't think you can on Patreon, but anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Peace out.